Now, after days of leaks and promotional interviews, Prince Harry's memoir, Spare, is hitting the bookshelves. The book, which is being released in 16 languages, details the prince's life behind palace walls and focuses on his uh, strained relationship with his father and brother. Harry accuses his stepmother, the queen consort, of leaking conversations to the media in order to rehabilitate her own reputation. Buckingham Palace has so far remained silent for now. Uh, for more on this story, we can go across to France 24's Benedict Pavio standing by outside a bookstore in Trafalgar Square. Benedict, good morning. Uh, what are you seeing where you are? Good morning from a very wet and cold London, but hey, it's here, spare. It's half price. I paid £14 for it instead of 28 I was the first one to buy it in a bookshop in Westminster. I understand that in Victoria Station, uh, Waterstones had opened uh, at midnight last night, especially. This morning, uh, the first people to buy it were 12 journalists and one customer. Um, so I don't know if that's a sign of things to come, although Waterstones say that it's the most pre-ordered book uh, in a decade. Uh, and there have been so many leaks and indeed copies sold in Spain last week, translated in 16 languages uh, around the world, available also on the internet. Interesting uh, that Harry, in the book and the acknowledgement, says, and to you, the reader, thank you for wanting to know my story in my words. I'm so grateful to be able to be able to share it thus far. Could there be another book in a few years' time? Interestingly also, the Duke of Sussex describes himself as a husband, a father, a humanitarian, a military veteran, mental wellness advocate and environmentalist. He says he resides in Santa Barbara, California, with his family and three dogs. It is a book uh, that I haven't uh, read completely yet, but it is clear that it is dominated by the grief he feels still today of his uh, beloved mother, Diana, Princess of Wales, who died in a car crash in a Paris tunnel on the 31st of August 1997, um, and also by the extraordinary tensions uh, that are very much alive and well in this book, uh, relayed around the world on news channels, news websites, uh, and the subject of a lot of discussion. My cab driver on the way here said, this is a total invasion of privacy, uh, and what he meant by that is it's a total invasion of privacy of Harry, of the rest of the royal family, particularly his father, King Charles III, his stepmother, Camilla, the Queen Consort, and his brother, uh, heir to the throne, William, and his wife, Kate. And, Benedict, I'm curious, has Buckingham Palace continued to remain silent now that this book has hit uh, the stores? Yes, it has. Uh, Buckingham Palace and indeed Kensington Palace have remained absolutely silent. But what is interesting is in what appears to be the first royal response that I've seen to Prince Harry's memoirs and television interviews, and there have been many, one here in the United Kingdom, three in the United States so far, the Independence website quotes a source close to the royal family saying, he has been kidnapped by a cult of psychotherapy and the source, which, unsurprisingly, is unnamed, we're used to that, says a reconciliation is impossible. Why? As the King, Queen Consort and Prince William fear that anything they say to Harry will now be made public. And the Daily Express and the Sun newspapers say the Prince crossed his father's red line by describing Camilla as dangerous and a villain. And it seems that Buckingham Palace lawyers have asked a US network for a transcription of one of those interviews. So it, just because they're not commenting publicly does not mean they are not watching closely and reserve the right to comment or act 